Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to come on here to quickly say a couple of things. Number one, the lighting in this video, guys, is not even okay. Like, I'm actually really annoyed with how the lighting came out in this video because I actually really enjoyed it filming it. Obviously, this is a home bargains haul and every time I hold something up, the lighting almost bleaches, if that makes sense. I was sat too close to the light and I was filming really late at night. I did ask on my Instagram if you guys wanted to see the haul still and everyone said yes. Other than that one random girl that just decided to come on and click on no. You don't even follow me. I don't even know how the hell you saw my story. I want to just put a massive disclaimer out there right now and say the lighting is awful. I know the lighting is awful. Number two is, today's video is a home bargains haul. And I do just want to say this. I am not encouraging people to go out willy-nilly. Like, if you need to go out for essential things, then 100% go out. But do not just go out for the sake of it. And when I went to home bargains in the video you just saw, I did actually buy um loads of frozen food that was the main reason why i went to home bargains but i didn't want to show you frozen food um and it would have it's in my freezer you know what i mean <laughs> right let's get on to the video hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for today's video i'm going to be filming a home bargains haul it's full with all the good stuff we've got makeup we've got crafty bits we've got some leftover valentine's day stuff we've got some cleaning stuff we've got a mixture we've got some candles in there as well but i really love going to home bargains because there are some absolute bargains there see what i did there i'm such a lover of home bargains if you follow me over on instagram i'm always chatting about bits and bobs that i have purchased from home bargains it is a couple of days after valentine's day and i picked up two or three bits that were valentine's related as they were kind of just leftovers i guess no one wanted them snatched them right up baby because they always come in handy when it comes to me doing my creative makeup photo shoot type things over my instagram if you follow me on there then you know what i mean if you don't then i just sound like a right weirdo <laughs> anyway let's get into the video so first of all i picked up <laughs> this cherry coke zero i love coke zero and i'm really excited about this so i mean it's just a coke how excited can you be that's what i'm talking about the first thing that i got were these are six confetti balloons and they have um love heart confetti inside i feel like these would have been perfect for valentine's day i can always use these whenever so this is a great purchase for me they were like 99p this haul by the way is so random i've literally got a mixture of everything but who cares not me picked up some felt sheets assorted colors i think they were about one pound as well so another Valentine's Day related thing, we have tassel bunting and it is like all the different colours of pink and I believe this was 99p as well. The colours are sort of similar to the triangle wallpaper that I have, um, like pink and rose gold. So I just feel like this would be really cute and I just love it. Once again, I can use this when I take makeup photos in like the background. I just think it's really nice, really cute and I'm here for it. The next thing that I picked up is some bleach. <laughs> it's some toilet bleach honey because you need to use toilet bleach down your toilet. Not really much you can say about bleach. I think this was like 39p. Next thing that I think is just so random as well, like this whole per this whole purchases that I got are just so random. What can you do? There's not a lot you can do because we're all into our different things. And if I'm going to go out and purchase 100 bamboo skewers, then I'm going to go out and purchase 100 bamboo skewers. Okay? Cool. <laughs> so I picked up 100 bamboo skewers. It says, great for making kebabs. And I got these just because they are so handy, once again, with makeup looks. Also, for the summer, let's get some kebabs on the go. We've got a couple of months probably still going to be in lockdown oh well we can make kebabs for the household baby sponge scourers this is a 10 pack once again i use these for cleaning obviously and i needed some more so i picked up some there's just 10 in there and i think these were like 89p or something i think the skewers were how much were the skewers i think the skewers were 
99p also but i got skewers i have also picked up a spray bottle for multiple reasons i'm not quite sure what reason i'm going to use this bottle for yet but i have a couple of reasons <laughs> what am i even saying at this point i don't know basically i picked up a spray bottle because on my windowsill i have a range of plants and cactuses and succulents and i was going to fill this up with water to spray those or there's a big fat oil there I was thinking of putting some flora in there so I can give my room a cheeky spritz. I feel like I should have got another one of these. Why did I not pick up another one of these? Hmm. Am I regretting not getting two? Possibly. Is there anything we can do about it? No, there's not. So we continue. 89p, 99p. The fun stuff. The fun stuff. I picked up three face masks because you can never have too many face masks <laughs> i'm talking about um skincare sheet masks because i am obsessed with their collection of face masks home bargains i'm talking directly to you you have such a good range of face masks and I, I really appreciate that as a customer. Just wanted to let you know, give you some good feedback. Face masks, tick tick, very good. Pineapple infused face mask. Now, I don't think I've ever heard of a pineapple face mask before. I don't think I've ever seen a pineapple infused face mask and I needed it. I thought pineapple face mask sounded wicked. So I picked one up two of these because i've actually used these before and they are by the company skin treats i spoke about these on my instagram story the other week and these face masks are very good i think these are 89p each or 99p each and i used this the other week and it left my skin feeling so soft i'm all about having soft skin because my skin is so dry and this just gave me everything gave me all the face mask feels and i was so here for it it is a 15 minute mask do you know how happy that makes me I'm very happy picked up the yummy hot chocolate one then i picked up the pumpkin spice one so three face masks to add to the collection so the next thing i picked up is a candle let me tell you you need to just sit down for a second and just listen to me right home bargains do some fantastic candles their candles are so good they have such a range of candles and i still have two of their christmas scented candles under my bed because your girl stocked up their candles are so good i have one up there and it's such a good candle. It burns really well and it lasts for hours and it smells delicious. So I had to pick up some more. If you go into Home Bargains, buy one of their candles and you will be so surprised. They are $2.99. They are basically dupes for Yankee candles. However, I find that these candles burn properly and they don't like really dipping a lot. This is the Sugar Dusted Cherry Candle. Burns up to 95 hours by the company wickford and co these are 2.99 they had so many scents in there they had peony they had cookies they had a carrot cake candle i was like okay did think about getting it but i thought it's a very like autumnal and christmasy kind of scent and i thought we're going into spring so i don't really need it but it was cute oh my gosh you know what that smells like a mixture between cherry bakewell and who remembers those dolls that you used to get when you were younger and it was a doll and it had a spoon of cherries and you used to put it in the doll's mouth and the cherries would pop inside the spoon. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm going to leave a picture on screen here somewhere. It smells like that. And that is what this smells like. It's got like a really nice sugared cherry smell. Really sweet, but really nice. Fresh fruit vibes and I'm here for it. So I picked it up. Next candle we have a, it's the smaller one. This is the Wickford Co. Pink Rhubarb and Pear Candle. Another thing that I really love about Home Bargains is when they have their candle section, they have a mixture of different candles. So they have the big candles, they have these candles, they have the tea light candles, and they have wax melts. I just love the variety and I think it's sick. It's so good because they didn't have the big one. This is the Pink Rhubarb and Pear. And it's really nice. It's a really light scented. It's not too heavy. Just smells like rhubarb and it's delish. I'm watching Grease 2 all day today on repeat. 
and I love it. Have you ever seen Grease 2? It's so cheesy. It doesn't beat the first one, but it's so good. I just love singing it. Betty Wild Mega Length Mascara. This is my second one now and I love it. Let me get you my old one so I don't have to open this now. New mascara that I bought and this is my one that I'm currently using. I love this mascara so much. I think it was 99p. I really like this mascara because the wand. It's a plastic wand but it's really thin and I'm not the biggest fan of like mascaras that have really chubby wands. You know, like Better Than Sex by Too Faced Mascara. The wand is so chubby. Let me get it. Look at the size of that. Like, that is massive. And I just think like, I've got tiny eyes. I just think like, it's such a good size. It's super small. Probably not going to be everyone's taste, but it coats my lashes really well. I can get all the small hairs in the middle and like do all of my lower lash line. And it's just a really good mascara. So I picked it up for 99p. And I just really enjoy it. It's just a really good mascara if you're into a thinner applicator. I picked up a Lab 2 Live and Breathe Reality Infused with Coconut Essence. I picked up a sponge applicator. It says infused with coconut essence. To be honest, I can't really smell it that much. It's a tiny bit and it's super cute. It's currently like the one I've got now. It's a sponge, like a circle. And it's got a flat side, which is really good for getting under your eyes. Um, and yeah, just thought I'd pick up another one, give this a try. It's quite velvety compared to like an actual sponge. And it's quite dense. I need to get some water soaked into that. I have never bought anything from this brand before. But I saw it and it was actually the packaging that sucked me in, to be honest, because it was like right in your face. It's this. This is the W7 Lash Tastic Flash. Lash Tastic Mascara and King Cole pencil that is a mouthful but the packaging is just like kill bill vibes and it caught my attention straight away this was 199 so you get an eyeliner and a mascara it says this w7 duo set will help create the perfect look outline and define your eyes with the king carl liner and create thick up bolder lashes with lash lash tastic mascara let's get it open love the packaging though so we have a matte yellow mascara i have a feeling this is going to be a really big wand we'll find out in a sec it's a um like frosted matte feel the packaging feels a little bit like cheapy but i'm not like gonna lose sleep over it <laughs> oh my god there she goes saying oh i don't really like big mascaras what is that look at that wand that is massive Okay, so we've got a big one. The bristles on her are super small. I'm really interested actually to see how I get on with that. If I am using one that's big, I will go in with a smaller one as well just to get the little um, eyelashes. So that's that one. This is just a black eyeliner. Well, let's see. Oh, wow, that is so black. Essentially for 99p, that was really good. And I just think this set's really fun. And I've never tried this brand before. So although I've heard their bronzer is meant to be really good. But yeah, so that's that. It brings us on to the end of this video. I feel like this was a super short video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to do all the good stuff. Give the video a massive thumbs up and subscribe. Come and follow me over on Instagram. I'm super active on there and I would love to have you on there but yeah have a good day good rest of the week good night good morning good evening and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys